Water window warning. In weather track terms, a water window is defined as the window of time that your irrigation is allowed to run on your site, which is one of the things that's important to manage for local water restrictions. So with the water window, we set the number of hours that your irrigation is allowed to run beginning at that program start time. To show you what that looks like, we go to weathertrack.net, we go to the Smart Irrigation tab and the Program page, and on that programming page we open up our Days and Times. And in our Days and Times menu, you see that when setting up the controller, you set up the days and times each program is allowed to irrigate. So with WeatherTrack Pro 3, we have eight programs, and you can see that when programming the water window, you give it a start time and a duration. That is, the time irrigation will start and the number of hours that we can allow for irrigation. So program A, you see a 10 p.m. start time and an eight-hour water window. That means we can allow irrigation starting at 10 and finishing at 6 a.m. Then you finish out the days and times by programming in the water day mode or identifying the days on which those start times and water windows should open up. So after you've programmed a water window and a water day mode for each program, you go on to program all of your station settings. And um, sometimes that will be in the auto mode where we combine weather information and landscape information to create an automated schedule and sometimes that's going to be in user mode where you the user identify the number of minutes per cycle and the number of cycles per day or even have some stations turned off which means that they won't generate a schedule at all and when you've finished filling out all of this station programming information the controller will calculate a nightly irrigation schedule a water window warning is created when the calculated irrigation schedule needs more time for irrigation than the water window will allow so if your schedule requires 14 hours for all of your irrigation but your water window is only 12 hours long then we can't fit all of the irrigation that we need into the time that's allowed and a water window warning is created when a water window warning is created, the first thing that happens is that alert is immediately posted at the controller and online so any interested managers can see it. The second thing that happens is the controller will turn down all of the scheduled irrigation to fit inside the scheduled watering window. And it accomplishes this by turning down all stations incrementally. So we turn down all stations a little bit to make sure that every station gets at least some water. Then if your stations are in auto mode, the controller will remember the irrigation that wasn't applied and make that irrigation up in the next available watering window. That is to say, if your stations are programmed in auto mode, we're calculating station depletion and typically irrigating to 0% deplete where that glass of water is fully hydrated. But if a water window warning is turning down your irrigation, we know that we don't irrigate that station back to 0% and we carry over the 10 or 15% depletion that the controller wasn't able to water out that night. So when we carry over the depletion, the next day, instead of starting out at a 0% depletion or a fully irrigated station, it starts out at 10 or 15% less than that. And we're always calculating exactly how thirsty that plant is and exactly how much irrigation we need to keep it healthy. And then watering is close to that amount as our our water windows will allow. However, if you're running your stations in user mode programming, the water window warning will turn down all stations proportionally to make that irrigation schedule fit inside the water window, but no irrigation carries over. This is something we see very commonly when our users are using the automated by weather track irrigation schedule. Because that weather-based irrigation can expand and contract with the changing weather, sometimes it asks for significantly more time in a day in the heat of summer. So it's very common for sites to not have water window warnings in the spring and fall, but still see that warning with high frequency through the heat of summer. It's also very common in areas with mandatory water restrictions. The less hours we have in the night to deliver the irrigation, the more likely it becomes that we're going to run into problems laying down all the irrigation that we need, especially on larger systems. But areas of the country with mandatory water restrictions will not tolerate irrigation during non-irrigation hours. So even if the controller wants more irrigation, none will be allowed. To resolve a water window warning, we have to make the irrigation schedule fit into the allowable irrigation water window. So to troubleshoot the water window warning, we need to either change the water window or change the irrigation schedule. As we demonstrated before, that can be done at weathertrack.net by going to the program page and the days and times menu and clicking on the water window setting and add enough hours to the water window to allow for all of the necessary irrigation. Or you can change that at the controller by going to your program or days and times menu and then 
scrolling through the menu options till you get to starts and windows and then hitting the select button will bring up the start time and water window for your program so we can edit the start time and then advance to the water window and add enough hours to the water window to allow for the entire irrigation schedule. Once you've given your programs all the time that they're allowed, if you're still getting water window warnings, there's something to be said for not worrying about it. Remember that the weather track is dynamically adjusting to keep your landscape healthy and will do its best to lay down the irrigation that your landscape needs. So there's a lot of times that you should not worry about it until you have evidence of larger issues like landscape stress or station high depletion alerts. That's why the water window warning has a low alert severity, because sometimes this is good management information, but it's not always actionable. Like if you've given the controller all of the time your restrictions will allow, a water window alert is just something that managers are going to have to get used to through the heat of summer. The third way of troubleshooting your water window warnings is to more closely manage the irrigation schedules to make sure they fit inside your water windows. So things like making sure the stations that you're not using are turned off, so they're not creating schedules and crowding the water window, are simple ways to find more time. Some managers like the level of control that putting stations in user mode gives them to manage the station run times and their effect on the water windows. In addition, there's some advanced programming that can help you find more time in the water window. Things like the stack and overlap feature that will allow multiple programs to run at the same time inside the watering window. And watering multiple stations at once is a great way to make your way through a lot of irrigation in a very short time. Which of course is the beauty of the OptiFlow features. With WeatherTrack OptiFlow, the WeatherTrack is capable of flow optimization, which will optimize your irrigation schedule to keep your irrigation system running at the system's capacity or using as much water as it can for as long as it can to make the mathematically shortest possible runtime for your irrigation system. You see in this example, where we compare a traditional irrigation program to an optimized program, we subtracted 10 hours of its 16 hour irrigation runtime on a 48 station controller. So while WeatherTrack OptiFlow might require an upgrade to your WeatherTrack hardware, it might be worth the investment if you're tired of battling water windows. And never forget that we're here to help. So if you need more help troubleshooting your water window warnings, call on our team at HydroPoint Customer Service.